Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Weigh In Wednesday. On Wednesday, I get on the scale and I see what the scale has to say about my eating last week. So I am on coffee number two. Usually I have two coffees in before I weigh, but today I only had about one and a half in. All of that matters, you know. We track all that, point two, point this, point the other. I don't need more, but I used to, and that used to drive me crazy. Anyway, what did the scale think of my eating from last week. So I'm happy to let you know that I am still in my maintenance window. So if you didn't know and you're new to the channel, I, first off, I wanna say hello. My name is Barrett and the channel is called Living Life on Track. So I get on the scale Wednesday morning and get a little feedback, see what the scale thought. It matters to me. I know a lot of times people will say it doesn't matter, it's just a number, it's just a number on the scale, but it matters to me because it is feedback. Is it all the feedback? No, absolutely not. You can shrink in size and the number on the scale does not go down. That can happen. So it really is just some partial feedback to let you know how you're doing. Now for me personally, it does matter to me because when that scale goes up, I can almost like guess it. I know. If you're like me, you know what I'm talking about. Like you know when you feel like you've lost and you know when you feel like you've gained. So when those two things line up, it just helps me in terms of knowing what's good for me to eat and maybe what is less good for me to eat. So to me, I don't get too, too worried about the scale if I gain a pound. That's why I do the five pound window and that might be something you want to implement as well. The reason that I do that five pound window is because if you're in that window like I am right now and my window is between 140 and 145. If I'm in that window and I have a two pound gain, so in other words, let's say I was at 142 and I gained two pounds and now I'm at 144, I'm still in my window. So that is a win. I never want to feel like, well, I was 142 and now I'm 142.8. So I gained weight and now I'm going to ruin the rest of my day. And maybe I'm just going to go eat everything in the pantry because I gained 0.8 pounds even though I was in my window. And all of a sudden, the good that I had done becomes a negative. Or if let's say last week you lost three pounds or two pounds, whatever it is, and then the following week, that two pounds, you gain 0.3 and you feel upset because you had this itty bitty teeny tiny gain that means nothing. Don't do that to yourself. I would suggest set yourself a five pound window and start walking towards that. And week to week, those are all just little steps towards that goal. Don't get yourself all hung up on that week to week. Now, personally for me, I weigh every single day now. I used to not do that. You know why I didn't do that before? I was not in the headspace to do that at all. I couldn't do it. I would be upset constantly. What the scale said bothered me immensely. I was not, even though I was saying this is a lifestyle for me, my mind did not feel that way. If I had a little bit of a gain, it upset me. I never could put it in the place to say, you know what, I'll catch it up next week. You know what, this time next year, I'll be okay. You know what, in fact, let me show you what I'm doing right now. So I do from time to time track my Weight Watchers points. Why do I do that? Because you know I eat low carb. That is my main thing that I do. It's super easy for me. It's super free and it's easy to turn a box over and know that this is going to work for you or no it isn't. So for me, I always say that I want to program proof my program. That's what I do. I love eating low carb and I feel my best when I eat that way. But I do track Weight Watchers points because so many of you do. So when I do a recipe, I give you the Weight Watchers points. And when I do grocery hauls or I talk about new foods or anything like that, I always try to give the Weight Watchers points because I know so many of you are doing that. So let me show you what I'm doing right now. I have given myself a personal two-week goal. I have said, you, Barrett, 
are not going to go off track until Easter. So here's where I am. See the green dots? So this was Monday. This is today. We're filming. We're filming today and you'll see it on Wednesday. So I made myself green dots as a visual. Just to remind myself that you, Barrett, are going to stay on plan until Easter. And on Easter, you can have the peanut butter eggs. You can have whatever desserts people are making. You can have a Easter meal without worrying about it. Why? Because for me personally, my goal is to stay on track all this time frame. And if you want, do this with me. Join my Facebook group. Maybe we'll do a little, we'll all do that together. I'll leave the link down below in the description box and right here for you. Join my Facebook group. Let's do this together. Stay on track this short term time frame. And then on Easter, you don't have to worry about it. Eat whatever you want. Now, if you get to Easter and you're going to be extremely mindful, do that. You might get to Easter, and I, I am known to do something like this. If I go all these days and I do awesome and I lose weight, what if I lose like seven pounds in this time frame? I won't, but let's just say I do. Let's say you do. You might get to Easter and go, Listen, one half of one of those peanut butter eggs is good for me. Because I don't want to feel like garbage. You might make that decision. So I'm going to make a commitment to myself on my little thing here. But the other thing I wanted to show you is this is what my Weight Watchers points. Can you see that? Right here. That's what my Weight Watchers points were yesterday, 22. Now for me, I almost never hit Weight Watchers points. When I'm tracking for all of you, I can hit carbs no problem and get down into the weight that I want to be. Like I said, I'm on maintenance. But usually for me, if I am tracking Weight Watchers points, if I hit my points, which is 23, then I'm really, really hungry. So you saw my calendar, I put a smiley face. That's my indicator, my little emoji, that I wasn't hungry. If I was hungry, then I'm gonna, it'll be a different face, okay? It'll be a, a sad face. But I did perfectly fine yesterday. So what did I eat yesterday? I had a big, giant smoothie like I always do and my smoothie has Greek non-fat yogurt one full little carton thing of a protein shake I, right now I'm going through the premier ones that I have so I'll do a vanilla premier protein shake one full cup of frozen unsweetened blueberries which I love and then a big giant handful of frozen spinach fresh spinach that I freeze smash that all down in there, blend it up. I will drink that. That'll be meal number one for me. I'm going to give you what yesterday was. That was meal number one at noon because I do intermittent fasting. I do that because it helps me lose the cravings. It works for me. It gives my body a rest from having to work. You know, we have a lot of like colitis and Crohn's and things like that, my family. And everything that I read is that if you can give your digestive tract a break, it's a good thing. So anything for health, I am always chasing health. So that is meal number one. Then meal number two, which I had around three o'clock. Now remember though, I had that big shake at noon. So only three hours later, I had this soup that I made and I did film it. Actually, the video's up. I put the video up on Monday. That sausage tortellini soup is so good. That is one of my absolute favorites. And a couple of you asked me, can you substitute the chicken sausage for something else because you don't like sausage? Absolutely, shred some chicken. It is so good. So I had two bowls of that. And then for dinner, I had a huge salad. I wasn't cooking for anybody else, so I made what I wanted. I had a huge salad with everything on it. Full fat cheese, Parmesan peppercorn ranch dressing, everything, eggs, everything I normally would put on a salad I had. Totally fulfilling to me. It took up the entire heaping dinner plate. It was delicious. And then for dessert, I had a little bit of yogurt. I had um, the skier yogurt from Trader Joe's. So that came to 22 points on Weight Watchers. I wasn't hungry at all. I wasn't craving. See, for me, there's a big difference between hunger and craving. And for me to have any success, I have 
to know the difference between the two. I have to. So I did great yesterday. So today I'm still in my little green zone. I'm making this happen until Easter. So today I've really put some thought into what I'm going to eat and I'm going to go through the day and hopefully everything goes good. I'm making some chicken chili. My daughter's boyfriend has asked me probably 30 times to make white chicken chili and yesterday I realized when he was here that I have everything to make it and I told him I said when you come over tomorrow because he's doing the drywall in our basement I said when you come over tomorrow I'm gonna have that chicken chili ready for you so in making that chicken chili it is absolutely low carb so I'm gonna eat that today as well I will have my smoothie in the morning because I love that that's a really good start to my day dinner I have not planned yet but I have so many things I'm well stocked on my groceries I have a ton of protein so I can pick from anything that one I'm not that far along yet but I'm totally not worried about it I don't feel fear I don't feel like I don't know what I'm gonna eat so that's been the week that has been what's been going on so far and if you want to please do like I said don't forget, go down below and you'll see the link. If you're on Facebook, anybody can join. It's totally free. And let's maybe do this together. It's only a couple weeks. And then that way, maybe we can feel really good about what we eat on Easter and not have to really lament over it. And, you know, I don't want to see the peanut butter eggs. I don't want to make the kids baskets because I'm going to be tempted to eat all the stuff. Maybe this is a good way for us to say, look, we did great for two weeks and now we're going to pick and choose what our body tells us it feels like eating for the week. Now, one other thing I want to mention to you is I did start a new YouTube channel. It is called Living Life over 50. So just like Living Life on Track, this channel, this one is called Living Life Over 50. And it is all about things that we as women experience over 50. We're going to talk about menopause. We're going to talk about beauty. We're going to talk about skin. We're going to talk about depression. We're going to talk about job loss. We're going to talk about losing a significant person in your life. We are covering all of it because I feel like there is a big gap in the YouTube space to have sort of a place where us women over 50 can go and find friendship and find people to talk to. You know, if you're new to YouTube, you might be saying, What are you talking about there, friendship? We don't even know each other. Well, I would say to you that those of you who have been watching me for years, I know you. I know your name. Some of you, I even know where you live, like state-wise. Trust me, I'm not stalking you. But some of you have mentioned, hey, I live near you or hey, I live in this state. So... There is nothing to say. Do you see every single one of your friends at your doorstep every day? Do you have coffee with your friends every single week? No. No, you don't see your friends every day. But you, I see you a few times a week. So listen, we're we're real friends around here. So don't, don't discount that. We're real friends around here. We can support each other. And like I said, if you want a little bit more support and friendship, join the Facebook group. It's totally free. And if you're interested... I will leave a link for the new channel. It's a little bit hard to find because it's brand new and I haven't even posted a video yet, but I will leave a link for that down below. Just click on it and subscribe like you did to this one. So anyway, I'm going to finish up my coffee and I'll see you in the next couple days for another video.